fault. All right, Rob, let's get to this story. Jerry West, the the revered uh, executive and basketball player, he's the freaking logo of the NBA, one of the all time greats. Uh, he the mo- we've talked about the show on HBO Max, Winning Time, which is loosely based on Jeff Perlman's book about Showtime, uh, the Showtime Lakers of the '80s, Magic Johnson, Kareem. Pat Riley as coach, so on and so forth. And Jerry West is suing the show. Not so much for money, but just for them. He wants a public apology uh, because he believes they've defamed him. And I have you watched any of it, Rob? No, just, uh, you know, I'm, I've heard a lot about it and read a lot about the stuff. You yeah, know, I'm watching it. It's very entertaining. Um, and I know... You know, some of this, it, it's some of it's true and some of it's fiction. That's the best way I can say it. And I, being obviously close to the sport, covering the league for, you know, nearly 30 years, I know a lot of these guys, Magic, all of them, you know, Kareem, Jerry West, Pat Riley. Um, and being close to it, I, I know some of it I can tell what's false. Uh, and some of the stories I've heard before and been told by some of those actual people. So right. I know they were true. But, Rob, even in my close position, there's some stuff that I'm like, is that, is that true or not? You know what I mean? I, I, I can't tell. So there's no doubt that the average viewer has no idea what is true or false. And it's, it's likely, Rob, just taking it all to be true. Uh, even though they put out the disclaimer that it's, you know, dramatized and all that. That's just how it is because you're dealing with real people. And Jerry West, Rob, who, as I said, you know this. I mean, he is viewed as, I I would say, outside of Red Arbach, he's probably viewed as the best executive in the history of the league and one of the best in professional sports history in America. Um, But they they portray him, it's not a favorable portrayal. They portray him kind of as a goofball. uh, And we know he did have anxiety issues. You know, Rob famously had trouble watching the games. He would drive around in his car sometimes or, you know, just had trouble watching them live, even as a GM. But they they really portray him as a guy who's kind of lucked into a lot of his, you know, good fortune or good picks. Like they, the last episode, I'll give you an example. Now, you know, Jack McKinney took over the team. He was a head coach as a rookie, we're Magic's rookie year, right? They were playing well. Jack McKinney had this. He came from Portland where he was an assistant when they won the championship, beat Dr. J in 77. And McKinney was the brains behind their fast break offense, right? And so he came in there with the Lakers and was like, run, 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 run. And it was working. They were 10 and 4. Magic, obviously, that's perfect for him. And McKinney gets in a bicycle accident, Rob, and couldn't coach. And Paul Westhead, who was his assistant, becomes the head coach. Now, they portrayed it in the last episode like the team was really struggling under Westhead and Jerry West actually wanted Elgin Baylor to become the head coach. (laughs) And they had to beat Boston. If they lost to Boston in a regular season game, Baylor was going to be the coach. That wasn't true. Westhead, they took off right away under Westhead, but really just kept going from where they were and played great. And um, Baylor was considered for an assistance job, but never the head job. But that's, you know, one example that's out of, of how they kind of fictionalize stuff. But Jerry West is upset, Rob. And I, I'll say this, and then I'm, I'm, I'll pass it over to you. I have talked to several people in the league, like executives, scouts, things like that, who aren't watching it because of the way they portray Jerry West. And they just feel like it really makes him look bad, and uh, it's far from the truth. And uh, they don't like it. So there are a lot of people in the league that aren't watching it because of that, Rob. Oh, well, tough luck, Jerry West, who sounds like the old man punching at the cloud. Dude, what, what, Chris, I'm sorry if people don't know the difference between uh, a fiction and, and they put a disclaimer to start. This is not a documentary. And that's why Jerry, Rice, J- Jerry West didn't ask for money because it would be a waste of time and he, wouldn't, and he wouldn't win because it's clearly marked. And if people watching, Chris, don't know the difference between something loosely based on people 
at public figures, loosely based on public figures, and then make their characters goofy to the left or to the right to make it entertaining for people. I don't know. This is so obvious. Jerry West, what what part don't you know? Uh, We've seen this. This happens all the time. It's the license that people have in Hollywood and and being creative. They can't do it down the... It's not a documentary. This is not The Last Dance. That's a documentary. If you make up stuff in something like that, people would have a, a, a recourse, Chris, to be able to come after you. They're telling you it's loosely based. It's fiction. It's not all true. And if you as a viewer or Jerry West uh, doesn't understand that, that's on you, right? They've done what they need to do legally. So I, it just sounds ridiculous to me. And I think after Jerry West straightens out HBO and gets his story right, I think he's going to tackle the history books in this country uh, and starting with uh, well, Christopher Columbus. Well, that's a Columbus, real thing, though. Uh, Discovery nah, but of that, America. That's white supremacy. I mean, real talk. You you brought up the, the Ten Commandments and everybody's white. That's white supremacy. They were in Egypt, where it, it, which is in Africa. The children of Israel Israel weren't Europeans. All right, like so I'm with you on that in the history books too. That's legit. That's real, you know, history and those people that was hundreds and thousands of years ago. Obviously you can't, you know, they're not coming back to do anything about the depictions, but I agree with you on that. I, I don't watch a lot of that stuff because of the way they depict everybody yeah, as white but, 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 but when he, they but, clearly weren't white. But the makers and of that the, goes of for this, Jesus too. He didn't but, look anything like these portraits that you see with the long, flowing but, but, red hair and all that. But but I'm saying, as far as legally, what the producers of this show on HBO, as long as they do what they're supposed to do legally and let people know, this is not verbatim. And people who watch TV, you can't believe everything you see. And just because it's on a TV show doesn't make it that it's absolutely 100%. When you watch the news, Chris, you expect every story that you watch on the news that is not made up. That that is the news. It's actually real. That's the difference. Well, I, I, I look, I agree with you on the whole legal stuff and Hollywood can do what they want. But I, I disagree on that Jerry West is being ridiculous. Because the fact of the matter is, a lot of people that watch this, I'd Chris. say most. Okay, let me finish. Y'all listen to you. He is a real living person. And these are, a lot of this is true. And I'm just telling you, if I was in his shoes, and I, I'm beg to say if you were in his shoes, and they did a documentary on the Odd Couple. It's not and a they documentary. Met, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. A, a, a show on the Odd Couple. And a lot of it was fictional, and they made you look bad, made you look goofy, whatever, you know. I think you'd be upset. I don't think you'd have the attitude of, hey, it's Hollywood. They can do what they want. Jerry West, again, viewed as one of the best executives in the sport, if not the best. And he is being depicted as a clown. And that's what a lot of people are going to think of. Most people, Rob, didn't read the book, The Autobiography of Malcolm X. You know where they get their information about Malcolm X? From Spike Lee's movie. Yeah, that's but, it. That does, but that doesn't mean that, but, but that's shame on them. Chris, well, shame, shame most on them. You can't, right, you can't dummy still, down everything just because you're dumb saying. Dumb it down? Nobody's yeah, you're, saying dumb it down. Yes, just you saying, are. Tell the truth. You're not giving people. That's not you're, dumbing it down? Yes, it, yes you're well, saying. How would you feel? Put no, wait a minute. Hold on. You. You're saying. Answer that. You're, no, I will answer it. But you're saying that they're too dumb to know the difference between a fictional. How would they fictional, know, Rob? Because it's, a fic, it's fiction, Chris. And, and no, they tell it's, you it's it. it's not all fiction. It, but, but they tell you it's, it's loosely based. It is a okay? mix. But they tell there you that there's dramatization. That's what happens in movies. You're crazy. Or, no, the I'm average, not. Like, the average viewer can look at it and say this part was true. That part wasn't. And Are all, you crazy? Jerry, all Jerry it's, West has done is made it bigger so that people will go well, out and no, now want to watch it. Was it was pretty big anyway. All right, I but mean, it's even bigger it now because he's making a snap How so people want to go. How would you feel? I would. It wouldn't bother me, Chris. I know what you the truth is. You say that now, but you no, block I know everybody what the that truth criticizes is. you on Twitter. 
I know, you know what the, the truth, truth is. is, but you're blocking yes. everybody. You don't like it. No, I you don't know like what it the on Twitter. Is. You certainly wouldn't like it on the big screen. No, totally, one hundred percent. That's not my place. That's my Twitter. They're following me. That's totally different. They have to follow me. And my point is, I understand what Hollywood does. If I want to clear the air, Jerry West, write a book and say this is the truth according to me. Even in that book, well, you he couldn't has even believe books. you couldn't even believe everything he writes because it's from his standpoint and might not be totally accurate. So even a book written by Jerry West could be Rob, fraud, that's fraud, totally uh, different uh, fraudulent than, than, and phony. Then this is but they say this is fiction to your point. My point is that this is a living, breathing human being and he is being portrayed in a in a drama that is heavily based on true stuff. It's based on a true book, Winning Time. And so a lot of people are going to take this stuff as true, and they're going to look at Jerry West and say, this, this dude lucked into all his success. He really wasn't all that. I get where he's coming from. I completely get it because I would be upset too, and I think you would be upset too. And I don't look. I ain't, I ain't bowing at the altar of Hollywood. And I don't bow at the altar of comedians. I don't think you can just say whatever the heck you want because you Hollywood. This nation, everything is being changed. People, everything is being viewed differently in this generation. So this, this notion, oh, Hollywood is above the law. No, it ain't I, above I ain't the it. law, Chris. You're it's saying like, that. You are. The, but you're the oh, same person. They said it's no, drama. No, but you're the same person that wants, the band, want. that wants to ban people who rap and, and talk lyrics that you don't like. You want to ban When did that. I say that? You, you've always said that. You don't like the music. You don't like I the lyrics. I said I don't like music that talks about okay, black people and, killing and each other. Right, That's what I don't like. Right to, they have a right to They have a right to make that music, and you have a right not to buy it. You have a right not to watch the show if you don't like the way they're depicting you. But they haven't done anything illegal. You or think wrong. Hollywood can Jerry do whatever Rice it just, wants? Jerry West Hollywood just doesn't is, like it. Hollywood is above the law. It. They can it say and do whatever they want in it Rob is, Parker's it, world. That's why they say Hollywood is and king. That's why oh, they have yeah. to. That's why they have to dub it one or the other. I, I can't simple. wait till they make the movie about the Eye Couple Go ahead, and see how it. you like their portrayal when Rob G is off the record telling a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I'll be fine with it. Eight seven seven ninety nine on oh, five. I'm gonna get Denzel to play my role. That's all I want to do. I won't say who's gonna play your role. Uh, eight seven seven. You know it's Jimmy Walker. You I know. know that. I knew you were gonna say that. No one ain't. <laughs> Have you seen him? Jimmy Walker. Um, yeah, it's playing you. All and, right, uh, and and then we'll get. Uh, Who's we'll playing get, the, uh, let me think. Shamar, that dude, Shamar? Somebody like get, that? Yeah, I need to Billy D. Out. Williams. Is there a young Billy nah, D. Williams no, that played me? Billy D. Williams, he doesn't <laughs> dye his hair, so it can't be him. <laughs> I bet you he did. <laughs> Should Jerry West be upset? Or what do you think about him being upset about the depiction of him in winning time? You're turned away in. All right, Van in Virginia Beach. You're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. What up, Van? Hey. Hey, how you doing, guys? Uh, by up, way man. of you down Bronx. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, hey Chris. First yep. of all, Rob is, dead, Rob is dead on point, man. You know, once they say this is a depiction, okay, or satire or loosely based, then that means that they can take poetic license. It's not about Hollywood can do everything. It's, oh, it is. It you is. just said that. No, but that's a part of, of being the difference between news and a documentary. Everybody, no, you what? have to label it. Whether it's news that you're watching, which you expect to be real. You news don't in this to, country, a lot okay. of the news is fiction. You know, no, I'm talking too. about like news fires. Channels. And I'm not talking about opinions, Chris. I'm talking about the news. This person was killed. This news. happened. This building was on fire. That's what people expect to be you real. You just also, said Hollywood can also, do whatever it wants. Also, hey, 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 Chris. Chris. Uh, Chris. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. 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 Okay. First of all, Courtney B. Uh, Courtney B. Vance would play Rob, not not no damn Jimmy Walker. It would be Courtney <laughs> B. Vance, and for, and, and for you, it would be my best friend of over fifty years, Rodney Hart, because you look like Rodney him, Hart. and both of you are argumentative uh, as is hell. Is he an argue? <laughs> is he an go. actor? Yeah. Is he an actor? Yeah. Ar- argumentative. Handsome as hell. fella, huh? <laughs> Thank Handsome you. fella. Hey, huh? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Call. Thank you, Steve and <laughs> Charlotte. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What up, Steve? Steve. Is that is that me you guys talking to? Yeah, go yes. ahead. Go ahead. 
Hey, now it's Steve from bed Brooklyn, but I'm in Tucson now, and I think Rob lost his mind. Wow. You know, he's, he's, he's finding this loophole, Chris, you know, that, you know, all you have to do is, like, my kids, when they do something bad, they say, oh, my bad, and then it makes it go away. No, right. that don't work. Thank it you. don't work like that. So if I tell you guys now, you gave me a great idea. As soon as we hang up the phone, I'm going to write a loosely based story about you two guys. And uh, the first chapter is going to be how Chris carried Rob all through his career. But chapter two is going to have all the meat. It's going to talk about Rob's fetish for naked midgets. And this will all be (laughs) untrue. Chapter one is true. Chapter one is true. But chapter two is probably not true unless you know something. I don't know, Chris. But I'm sure Rob will be a little bit annoyed about that. Thank you. I would not, Steve. Because you I don't, would, Rob. I would stop stop it. No, you would. I don't, You're I don't a human being. About, I don't care about midgets. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry, little people. Uh, no. If I know it's not true, what am I worked up about? I don't care. I, don't, I only care about people you who care. know You would care. You say that, Rob. You all would right, care. I do. Patrick, in you, Memphis, Twitter You're people don't know couple. you, but you get all Fox upset Sports about Radio. them. Hey, guys. How you all doing? Man, good, we're good. Man. How, how are you, you Patrick? I'm doing good. Look, on, on, on this one, Rob, I got to give Chris the edge on this. Imagine this. Now, my homeboy here in Memphis, Michael Orr, they did the blind side based on his story. Yep. They were saying loosely based. After they finished the product, Michael Orr still to this day has issue with how he was depicted. He was depicted as some dunce found on the street. Uh, this family went and found him and took him. It was totally away from the true facts. This really affected how this man was seen, maybe even affected some opportunities he would have had later on as it relates to endorsements. Of hey. course, that's not the case with Jerry West, but if, if, if they were going to do it, Create some fictional story, right? Just yeah, exactly. Without the Lakers involved, and carry on with your fictional Fake story. Fake names and all that. I, all I agree time, with you. It's not cool. You're Patrick, right because I, I, I like I what he said about the blind side. I don't figures, know my lord. They're public I took, figures. I took the movie as true. I took the movie as that's how Michael Lord was. Chris, and that's how really? most people are, yeah. And so when you watch a movie, you when you watch The Wizard of Oz, it's true, right? The is Wizard of it? Oz isn't true, Rob. When I watch something that's based on true people, yeah, I mean. You I, take it for if, verbatim? For the most part, yeah. If, oh, even I in my mind, I in my that. mind, in my mind, I may know, okay, this is not everything is true. But I'm wondering, I don't know what's not true. I, I and, just, I'm, I and I'm I sitting watch. there, and I t- generally take it when you see something and hear it, it's going to impact you more than just when you read something. I, so that's just, another thing that's making people think it's true. I, I, just, I just don't think that. I, I don't operate that way. I don't watch something, and then that tells me whether I believe it or whether it's true or not because I, I saw it on the do. big screen. I think I you're not. saying something, but you... I, I do not. You, you, I know, you, put, I know, you brought I know up... The they, first thing you just brought that, up was I know the Wizard the Jackie of Oz. That shows the, the me Jack, that you're not... The Jackie, well, Jackie Robinson, Robinson story. Because you, you're a student of Jackie Robinson. No, but I, I, but I, I watched the learn. movie, Chris, and I'm just telling you that they, they did what they had to do so that it could fit into a movie. It wasn't it everything have been that good. happened happened It wouldn't have been good without no. without them adding something? No, that's a that's documentary. The thing. It would that's be a good. documentary. Do a documentary, Chris. That's the difference. That's what don't you understand? It ain't, you I, I understand everything. I understand that you think Hollywood got a right to do no, whatever the heck it wants. No, that's and not I don't it. agree with that. They have a right to be creative and to make you, it entertaining. The story itself the is entertaining. The reason that that show is doing so well is because they did make a character. No, He's the not. best character from everybody, everybody I've talked to. Everybody will want to know. Everybody no, will want to know don't care what, about the, what went the, on the, with the, the behind the scenes. Lakers. Lakers where, where there's no no drama and everybody's okay. a good guy yeah, no. and nobody Rob, there nobody's, was drama. nobody's wacky. Come on. There was drama. No, it ain't. The book, if if, if, if nobody cared, good, they Chris, wouldn't have been into the book. It. No. You, you, you're way off. You just think Hollywood is king. All right. We're, we just disagree. No, Eddie no, House think, will join no, us in a moment. No, you think Hollywood is the but devil. First, and I, and no, I just don't well, believe in I, that. A lot of what Hollywood promotes is evil. There's the darn sure. And I don't believe in that. That's you. Well, a lot of what that. they promote is evil. Uh, pure, yeah, that's pure what you and think. And I no, totally no, disagree with you. It I ain't bet no you fact. every single person listening. It ain't listen. no fact. That's I your didn't opinion. say everything. You just I didn't say everything. Fact. It ain't no fact. That sounds ridiculous. I, if there's good and evil in the world, 
then a lot of what Hollywood puts out there is evil. And I don't think anybody listening to this show would disagree. I'm not saying everything. I said a lot. Yeah, and I don't, Disney you, movies that's for the undeniable. kids, those are evil. Oh, yeah. oh my God, well, did how I can we watch that? that? Did I say Hollywood that? Because Hollywood produced those, see, Chris, see, yes or no? Rob, you, you can't, you don't Hollywood have an argument. Does Hollywood produce those Disney kid movies? I'm asking you, do they? You don't have an argument, oh, that's so evil. you go to oh, something that doesn't Because they don't make agree sense. with your lifestyle, so You bring up evil. Wizard okay. of Oz, you bring up the Wizard of Oz when we're talking about stuff based on truth. You bring up Disney when we're talking about evil, because you really can't debate it. But that's all right. 